Hey, Kevin, you're reading a book? You know, a lot of times I get mail from you guys. You've got a question, you want to know something, you know, something I covered in a video, or, you know, just you're working on your own thing, and you got a little question for me. Great, send them in, no problem. Uh, Maggie wants to know if I would talk about cups. That's all it says. Can you talk about cups? Well, I, I've got a nice big one that I like to put my tea in in the morning. No, the, no, no, Kevin. Well, you see, when guys play sports... Oh, no, 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 no. Not that cup either. No, no, no. Okay, fine. <laughs> she wants to know about tea cups. The cup is a little ceramic thing that goes on the end of the torch and it helps to direct the argon gas to the well. So they come in lots of different sizes. Uh, they're numbered as to the size. Smaller number means a smaller opening. And you can see that the four, the five, and the seven shape different you know, very tiny, medium, bigger. They come even bigger than this. They come in the, you know, this is a seven. You've got eights, nines. Um, you even have the different sizes for, this is a, this is a four. And this is a four for a water-cooled torch or an air-cooled torch. This is a, lower amperage, I believe. This is a higher amperage. You know, it all depends on what piece of equipment you're working in, what, what kind of machine you have, what kind of torch you have. They even have something called a gas lens. Now this is a cup. <laughs> this has got a mesh inside, a wire mesh inside, to help smooth out the gas flow with this kind of cup is just wide open. It just has the tungsten sticking out of it. When the gas comes through, it'll tumble a little bit. There'll be a little bit of turbulence in there. So when the gas actually gets to your weld, it's a little bumpy, you know, like, like the turbulence behind a car. With a gas lens, as the gas comes through this hole and filters through this housing and then comes out the screen, it helps smooth out the flow. It makes it all nice and even and straight and uniform, and you get much better coverage over a bigger area. When you're up in a corner where you have to pull your tungsten out a little bit to be able to get into that corner to weld, it helps there. Uh, this helps with, uh, with aluminum. It helps with stainless. Very useful tool. I don't use it much because the sucker's huge. <laughs> you know, when you try to get up inside someplace with it, you're fighting this huge diameter. So, I finally found a gas lens for my water cool torch. Same unit, you know, same same machine, you know, same part, same piece. The design to do exactly the same thing, but you can see the difference in the size of the two of them. So why would you even use the bigger gas lens, Kev? Well, because it fits the bigger torch. See, this is the WP-20. This is the water-cooled torch. And this is the WP-26F, which is the air-cooled or gas-cooled torch. So no water in this one. But you can see just the different sizes, bigger head, bigger handle, you know, more heavy duty one than the other. The, this big gas lens won't fit on this torch. It just won't screw in. That's why if you look at the end where they screw into the torch, and you look here and you see they're just two different sizes. So how do you know which cup to pick when? Well, it's all, it, it all depends on where you're working. When you're working down in a tight spot, like where the weld is here, this number uh, this number seven cup is pretty big, 
and it's hitting the metal on both sides. So let me change and put the smaller cut back on it. So you see same spot, same torch, but this is a number four, much smaller opening. And you see you can get a lot closer into the weld. See now the, the pressure is still the same, the flow rate is still the same on the gas coming out of the bottle. So what happens now, um, well just like a garden hose, if you've got a really small garden hose, you get lots of pressure out of it. It'll shoot farther than if you got a big diameter hose with the same amount of pressure in it. So you'd get more gas pressure there, but it would become more turbulent because the pressure is higher. It's pushing harder. So you can either turn your flow rate down or that's where the gas lens comes in. That, you know, the, the little mesh inside there will help smooth out all that turbulence. It'll give you better coverage and less flow so you save gas. But the problem is, look at the size of the cup. Much, much bigger. So you're back to the same problem is now the cup is too big for the area that you're working in. It's a lot of it's a lot of practice, you know, it's a lot of learning. You experiment with one cup or the other, you know, this is why you go to school, this is why you, you learn from an experienced welder. So what are they made of? Well, the pink ones are made out of alumina oxide, which is a high temperature ceramic. They have uh, brown ones, which are made out of lava, and then they have glass ones, which are pyrex. All different kinds. All depends on what you're working with. Have you ever seen anything but the pink ones, uh, though? No, no, I've never seen the others. All, all I've ever worked with are the pink ones. These are the most common. When you're working with them, can you tell that there's anything different, Kev? I mean, when you change a nozzle, how do you know, hey, I need to change my nozzle, aside from being able to get to the, to the well? Well, that's the big part, is just, you know, can you get down into that hole, or is, is the nozzle just, just so big that it's in the way? You know, that, that's all I see. Uh, I'm sure, you know, the guys who do this all the time, you know, more professionally than I do, you know, I'm sure they can tell the difference, you know, like I say, as far as gas coverage goes. You know, when you get a little uh, porosity in your weld, you know, that may be that you're using too small of a cup and you're just not getting enough coverage. So you might want to go to a bigger cup, get more gas down there, help cover the weld as, as you're working. Like I say, it's all about experience, really. It's all about learning and working with it and playing with it. So I hope that answers your question. I'm going to go back to work here.